Hey guys, thanks for stopping by for another video. My name is Summer, if you're new here. I'm the mother of one little girl who is eight months old named Sersha, who right now is trying to crawl to her cow. And this week's video, I'm gonna talk about some things that you can do with your baby during this fall. Um, these are gonna be simple things that you can do because if you're like me, you like simple, cheap, and easy. So these activities all include things that will provide sensorial experiences for your baby, a keepsake, and just some fun for the two of y'all. Are you ready? Yeah? So for this first one, I was needing to make some butternut squash soup, so I decided to just chop it right up and let Sarah experience the inside of it. Um, she has a lot to say today. <laughs> experience the inside of it, as you can see in these clips here. So after just laying out the halves in front of her, we talked about the shape, the color, the texture. She really liked going from one squash to the other, squishing it inside of her hands, and then going back and forth. You could use a pumpkin, but we didn't have any small pumpkins at my store, and I really didn't want to get a huge pumpkin just to chop up and then for her to squish and waste it. I was already going to be using the butternut squash, so I thought it would be perfect. One caveat, just watch out because she did try to eat the seeds and I imagine that other babies will do the same. This second one is a little bit of a keepsake because I wanted to do something that could commemorate Sarah's first Halloween and um, just how tiny she was. So I went ahead and I made this photo and this is how I did it. So all this I got at the dollar store. I got some black acrylic paint some tacky glue, some white acrylic paint, some ribbon, a paintbrush, and a textured canvas. So first I just took the black paint and painted all over the canvas. I did speed this up because it did take me several minutes. Peep tiny baby in the corner. <laughs> How cute. So I did just go over this canvas. Now I will say I did have to do two coats after it dried. The canvas is textured and you can't really tell in the video, but there was a lot of white spots showing up. After that dried, I went to the bathroom, painted Sarah's feet white, and then stamped them onto the canvas. Now I will say that you wanna make sure that you have the heel of their foot upright that's going to be the top of the ghost their toes are going to be the bottom so whenever you're orienting their feet on the canvas you want to make sure that you're going to have enough room to one side to put the b for the boo where everything is oriented correctly if that makes sense so then i just wiped her all down because she apparently wanted to get it all over the bathroom as you can see i didn't really get her feet exactly straight but i thought that was kind of cute I'm sure if you had older children, it would be a lot easier to get straight feet. Next, I wrote the B, Sersha 2019 First Halloween. I added some eyes and mouths to the ghost and an exclamation point. After that dried, I added the ribbon that I bought at the dollar store and we secured it with some tacky glue and we were all done. last one i just stopped by my local grocery store picked up some ornamental pumpkins and squash and let her explore it as you can see in these videos right here at first she was just trying to crawl all over them and see how much of her weight they could support but after she figured that out and got over that she was really into it we spent some time talking about the shape the size the color how they felt the bumpy ridges the uh, tops where the roots were and she has really, really enjoyed these. These are ornamental. I did wash them off. So they're not edible, but she has been putting them inside of her mouth. They're not toxic or anything. You just can't cook with them. And I got them in two different bags. And I think we're going to really enjoy these for the rest of the holiday season. You can hear here how much she loves it.
So thanks for watching. If you liked these ideas and you plan on doing them with every with your kids, please let me know in the comments. If these are things that you'd like to watch, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and I can't wait to see y'all guys next week. Thanks, bye.